Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to create this scenery. Um, we'll go process and create inside the view. The view will create a couple pounds around. We'll create it, a landscape working with the terrains, create mountains far away. We'll add some plants. We'll go use the ecosystem brush and paint with multi layers to create this nice overlay view. As well, we work on atmosphere to create some depth and effect we will have a little bit tutorial in the end how to touch up in photoshop to creating paint a like look uh, very short kind of descriptions but overall we will see how you can just have it fun relax nothing very complex but express your creativity with creating beautiful sceneries with a vue um, application this is will work for almost any versions um, you don't necessarily need to use the ecosystem population module if you don't have it, but it does help to work with the plants when you start painting and placing them on the terrains. So let's go ahead and start working on this image. Okay, as we start creating our scenery, usually we want to define on at least a three areas. It will be background, middle plane, and foreground. So. Out of front, we'll put it some plants that create this um, close-up view, and this is what give it a somewhat preview of the distance. Sum. I found out it's very easy to start with the background. So first, we will create something on the back, and again, if we create plain just view of the trees, that will look boring. So what we want to do is create some unusual or rock formation, something or just mountains will be look nice. So to do this, we're going to click and create our terrain. And if you're using Vue Extreme or Infinity, you will have it some distance or other ones. Sometimes if you don't have it, you can look on I. If you do, just use this scale a little bit. We can say, okay, right here, this is about 500 meters. Right there, I can put it. So this is our mountain, and I can move mountain about five meters, 500 meters away. So if I want, I want to put kilometer, I can put it probably around camera right here, and it will take about one kilometer away to my mountain. So again, this is just very, very rough positioning, but let's give it kind of visual position. You also can go inside the um, measuring tool, and right here you can see we have this is from position from the center. So if I put it right there, one kilometer, it will actually will be 500 because this is the size of our square. And you can see one kilometer by one kilometer. So 500 meters from here to there. So if, if I want one kilometer from the center of point from our camera, our middle point of our scenery, and if I want to create it to my mountain, I need to go right here and take in collisions about 1.5 of course i can go inside and just type for example if i put it two kilometers now we have it actually it's 1.5 kilometers away from our camera why this distance is important that if we're going to create work with atmosphere and i want to create a realistic look clouds atmosphere i want to keep it real world sizes so that way it's helped me to kind of calculate properly and just play by the numbers so it will be a little bit more accurate not necessarily can do the want to do this or if you wish to do all the time you can always just create it see how it's look if it's look right to you it's probably right okay so we'll go right here increase size of this mountain notice i will drag on the back so our distance is still the same from this point to the camera and i'm just going to slightly slide on the side right here again our view when i first preset i look and it's half about half so half sky half cloud i would like to have a one third rule kind of so i can put right there we can always going inside we'll go to frame guides and we can also says display fields for three so right here you can see is our guides um they do help on the beginning properly set your composition so and i do like sometimes use it right here i have my horizon set to one third and a little bit up so in this case 
my composition will be balanced and look properly. Okay, right here I have my mountain and I want a little bit sharper mountain. So let's go open and I'll just go click once to create this kind of young mountains. If you don't like its shape, go ahead, click more and this is will cycle to different random variations and you will find someone that you like better. Of course, you always can kind of combine them. You can click another one, one more, click and combine so you can overlay. But I think this will look interesting. So let's go click OK. And a little bit too steep maybe. So I'm going to rotate. And I like actually this kind of slope. So what I'm doing at this case when I'm creating, I'm looking how the my slope going and I don't want to necessarily have it peak I want to go from lines go to the middle from one and another side so let's go ahead hold down alter option left click and drag and you can see we just duplicated our terrain so I create another one terrain really bit rotate we can open click create different and here we have it in our different mountain Notice I'm kind of stacking them behind. So if I create one more, same Alt Options or Alt Commander, left click. And if I put right there, I want them kind of stacked like behind. So you can see we have these dimensions going with the hills on the back. Again, the more I move it away, a small hill will become invisible. So you want to increase in size. Maybe right there. Let's go increase, change shape, click OK. And right here we have a nice, beautiful shape on a mountain. Okay, I think at this point, I kind of like what I see. We'll go ahead and let's render, see what we have. Okay, I'm going click and I will render on a screen so I can preview. Should go very fast. At this point, I don't care too much about atmosphere or other things. What I'm care is how the my mountains looking. And it seems like look good we have a little bit higher position right here if I draw the straight line. So if I want I can balance or leave it this way and we can balance by foreground right around this area something more. Okay so I think this is for the background raw kind of preset doing well, of course, we can bring a little bit more, adjusting. You know, let's take camera and bring just slightly up. There you go, a little bit better line. Okay, so let's go work on the foreground in the next tutorial.